This is a picture of a screwdriver. Uh, let me take a step back. I'd say this is a symbol of a screwdriver. Because when I drew this, I didn't have any reference. So this is my generalized sense of all the screwdrivers I've ever seen. As a result, it's kind of boring. Today we're going to talk about getting specific shape. An important aspect of observational drawing is looking at not a generalized object, but the actual object in front of you. And that it's going to have a very specific and unique shape. This is an actual screwdriver. I grabbed it out of the toolbox, took a picture of it, and you can see that it's not at all like what I had envisioned in my head. Now, of course, there's all different kinds of screwdrivers, and that's the point. So if I wanted to add some detail and life into a drawing, I would use an actual object and give it a specific shape. Well, how do you capture a specific shape? One way is called contour line drawing. And what that means is slow analytical drawing to capture the outline of a shape. So there's a variety of different ways to do this, but I like to first lay down some general schematics with the side of my pencil, just like we've done in previous videos. So I'm gonna measure the general height to width ratio and lay out the major landmarks. Like here's where the grip ends. And then there's another division right about there. Okay, that's enough. The important part for the rest of this exercise though is to use the tip of your pencil and to very carefully train your eye on the edge of that shape. So this whole drawing is going to move much more slowly than the sketched line drawings that I talked about in the past. The idea here instead is to only draw the very outline of the shape, slowly analyzing the specific curves and contours and all the little details. And probably you don't look at objects like this very often. There's not really a lot of need to analyze the specific shape of an object in your day-to-day -day life. So you might see all sorts of details that you never noticed before. Just carefully scanning across the edge and laying in all the little turns and bumps. So here's what I've come up with. It's a lot different from that cartoony screwdriver that I had at the top of the lesson. And the idea for this is that what I've done here is carefully looked instead of just imagining. So there are a, a bunch of different ways to draw a contour line drawing, but really what you're practicing here is contour seeing. It's looking at the specific shape of an object and putting it on your paper. And it can be hard to do, but this is an important step in observational drawing. So the homework this time is really straightforward. Pick 10 relatively simple objects, put them in front of you, and just do a careful contour drawing. And the reason I only want you to do 10 is because these should take a while. This is not a speed assignment because the idea is to be very careful and very specific. In the upcoming videos, we're gonna talk more and more about shape and how to observe shape carefully. So for now, just try contour line drawing. Have fun.